Good evening, fans, and welcome to Giambroni Field, home of your Arcadia Apache. Tonight, we start by honoring our seniors who will be playing in their final regular season home game. Each of these young men have put countless hours into Arcadia baseball and will surely be leaving our program in a better place than when they arrived. Their hard work and sacrifices have resulted in a lifeline of memories that will never, that never be forgotten. Each player will be introduced and accompanied onto the field by their family. First off, we have number 55, catcher, Andrew Yanimoto. <laughs> Yanni is a first year member of the varsity team. He is accompanied by his parents, Jay and Dominique Yanimoto. Andrew served as a catcher for the Apaches and was a four year member of our program. He will be attending Santa Clara University in the fall and lives practicing daily with his teammates as his favorite Apache baseball memory. Number 28, catcher, Nicholas Moreno. Nick is a first year member of the varsity team. He is accompanied by his father, Lorenzo. This is Nick's first year in our program and this is daily interaction with his new teammates as his favorite Apache memory. Nick is undecided about the story of the team in the fall. Number 15, Ben Cooper. Ben is a first year member of the varsity team and a four year member of our program. He is accompanied by his parents, Bob and Sarah, along with his brother, Gus, and Abe. Ben will be attending Cal Poly San Francisco in the fall and has been on the same team as his brother last year as a favorite Apache baseball memory. Right, 17, outfielder. Kenan Wilson. <laughs> Kenan is a first year member of the varsity team and a four year member of our program. He's accompanied by his parents, Randy and Jane, along with his grandmother, Virginia, and sister, Randy Rose. Kenan will be attending Chelsea San Marcos in the fall and listen as all the laps 
He's had with his teammates over the years as a favorite Apache Day for memory. Number 21, outfielder, Evan Wong. Evan is a second year member of the varsity team. He's accompanied by his parents, Jeff and Sharon. Evan will, be, will attend UC Riverside in the fall and is winning the 2022 Pacific League Championship as a favorite Apache Bay to turn. <laughs> Number 44, outfielder, Brayden Herrera. Brayden is a second year member of the varsity team. He's accompanied by his parents, Matthew and Valerie, along with his sisters, Paris, Peyton, and Rebecca. Brayden is currently undecided about school next year. His favorite memory was the atmosphere and competition for the Apache semifinal game versus Bonita in this year's preseason tournament. Number 11, outfielder, Devin Eskridge. Devin is a three-year varsity starter for the Apaches and a center fielder on lockdown the day he arrived on campus. He's accompanied by, tonight with, by his parents, Ernest and Michelle, along with his brother Julian and sister Brooklyn. Devin has earned a scholarship to continue his academic and athletic career at Cal State San Marcos next year. Devin List winning the 2021 and 2022 Pacific League Championships as his favorite Apache Beef on memory. Number 25, Chris Garcia. Chris is a first year varsity player transferring into Arcadia this past fall. He's accompanied by his parents, Gary and Maria. Also joining him tonight are his sister, Juliana Teresa, and his nephew, Nathan, and his grandmother, Javier. Chris plans to continue playing baseball next year at Citrus College. Right, Number 20, pitcher Ian Hofstetter. Ian is a second year varsity starter, the reigning Pacific League Pitcher of the Year, and a 2022 first team all save selection. Currently, Ian is undecided on his future plans, but will continue to play baseball wherever he goes. Ian lists last year's epic regular season finale against CV as his favorite Apache baseball memory. He will also have the honors of being tonight's starting pitcher and is currently finishing up the bullpen as we speak. Let's give a round of applause to Ian, his father Bruce, and his mother Pearl. Here are your 2023 Arcadia Baseball Apaches seniors. Let's give them a round of applause. CIF Southern Section Varsity Baseball Game. In today's Varsity League matchup, the Arcadia Apaches will be facing off against their league rivals, the Crescenta Valley Falcons. My name is Aaron Serrano. This is my uh, announcing buddy, Ronan Leader. So, Ronan, what are the stakes for today's game? Well, this is going to be a big one for the Pacific League. You know, CV has remained undefeated so far in the league play, and they're looking to keep that streak going. But uh, the Apaches are going to need a statement win here tonight. Yeah, as you can see there, they only got one le league loss that was against Burbank on Friday, which we will talk more about later in the intro. Definitely. And if the Apaches win, they will have a slight advantage over CV. Slight advantage coming off of a head-to-head -head record matchup. Now let's talk about the history of these two rivals. Arcadia has dominated the last four years as they have won all six matchups. The last time Crescenta Valley has won a game against Arcadia was the 2017-2018 season. 
and the previous season from that, they split the series one apiece. Now let's talk about how the Apache season has led up to this point. First and foremost, Arcadia is coming into this game with a second place league record of 11 to 1. They remained undefeated until Friday's matchup against Burbank, where they suffered an unfortunate 9 to 2 loss. With that loss, it put them in a challenging position to win the league, having to win these next two games versus CV. Yeah, raising the stakes more for these important rival games. You know, Ronan, there's some players that I think we should all be looking at while we're looking at today's game. First off for Arcadia is Fernando Palencia, who leads the team in batting average, OPS, and stolen bases, so his performance will be crucial for the Apaches. And on for the mound is Ian Hofstetter, the senior, who we saw earlier in senior night. So he is coming in here with a 1.01 ERA and has 11 and has pitched in 11 games this season. So it will be a crucial, or it will be important to see how he does against this uh, interesting Presented Valley Falcons lineup. Yep. But now let's take a look at the Apache roster for tonight. Number one, Roman Sincero. Number three, Isaiah Spencer. Number seven, Jerry Carlos. Number eight, Fernando Palencia. Number nine, Maverick Silva. Number 11, Devin Eskridge. Number 13, Avery Truesdale. Number 14, Gabriel Lopez. Number 15, Ben Cooper. Number 20, Ian Hofstetter. Number 21, Evan Huang. Number 22, Damian Catania. Number 24, Brett Rizzo. Number 25, Chris Garcia. Number 34, Leonardo Panish. Number 35, Stephen Lee. Number 44, Braden Herrera. Number 51, Andrew Yonam. Yona Moto. Well, first pitch is about to get underway. Thank you all for tuning in to today's Apache News uh, live stream, and we'll hope it's a good game. My name is Aaron Serrano. And I'm Ronan Leader. Now let's get into the game.
foul to get this game started for the first, or for the first batter for Presenta Valley is number seven, Jacob Dino. He's playing third base today. That's right, and he has a batting average of 250 and 88 plate appearances. So every 22 plate appearances, he's averaging a, averaging a hit. Let's see what he can do here. He hops in and trying to throw the first pitch of the game. It's going to be hit. Getting past the shortstop, he's able to make the dive. Not going to have a play there, so that's going to be an infield single. Nice, nice way to keep that ball into the infield by the shortstop. But it's going to be the first hit of the first hit of the game for the. Oh, it's number 10, I, uh, Ryan, Ryan Ivany. He is playing second base today. First pitch is going to be a strike. First, strike or first call strike of the game for Ian Hofstetter. First pitch did not go his way. Let's see if he's going to have a bounce back from here. Here comes another pitch from Ian Hoffs there. That one's going to be hit foul. Runner was trying to go to second, not going to get there. Pitch is going to be swung and a miss, and that's going to be a strikeout for Ian Hofstetter. First one of the game. Pitch is going to be a strike. Oh, one. one on number two. Number two is Nico Terenzi. He is the pitcher for today's game. Falcons going to look for him to stop the Apaches lineup, and Ian Hofstetter is trying to stop he him here at the bat. Center field caught. Runner at first. Next up to bat, number thirty one. Gonna be a ball. And that one's gonna be fouled back.
That pitch is going to be swung and a miss. Two strikes now on number 31. One ball, two strikes. Here's another pitch. That one's going to be in the dirt. Runner is going to run on that one. Tries to take the throw. It. It's going to not be caught by the second or by the second baseman. But he's backed up right there, allowing or not allowing the runner to move to third. So stolen base right there on the the ball thrown in the dirt almost. Got to run around second. Uh, pitcher's gonna have to be careful for this one. Yeah, you don't want to allow a, a risky pitch and allow them to get the first run of the game in the first inning. So let's see what Ian Hofstadter is able to do here. Pitch is gonna be hit in the dirt. It's gonna be a tough play. First baseman's reaching out, throws the Hofstadter, and that's gonna be out at first base. Nice little play right there to get Arcadia out of the top of the first, and now Arcadia is gonna come up to bat. Nice little flick right there to get the out. Number 11 for the Apaches, Devon, or Devin Eskridge. He's a senior, so they mentioned him in the start of this game for a senior night. On the mound for the Falcons is number two, Terenzi, who has pitched... 68 games for this inning. 68 innings, my bad. This season. Yeah, in those 68 innings, he has only allowed 12 earned runs, so pretty good for Crescenta Valley. Let's see what he's able to do here. He's got that weird wind up that one's going to be hit in between the legs with a shortstop that one's going to get out into the outfield that's going to be a single right there a crazy bounce it goes right between the shortstop's legs and that's going to be the first or not the first pitch but First at hit for the Apaches.
Isn't it crazy that they uh, they both got their first hits on their first at bat, Aaron? Yeah, kind of interesting, Rona. Let's see. But Hofstetter was able to keep Casena Valley down or for not scoring there. Allowed that stolen base, but let's see what uh, Crescenta Valley is going to be able to do here while pitching. Now working with a runner on first. Pickoff attempt, not going to go anywhere. Looking like a foul for the Apaches. At bat right now is Fernando Palencia. We mentioned him in the intro. He's currently leading the team in most offensive stats, so we'll see what he's able to do here. That one's hit far. It's going to be off the wall on a bounce. We, were, were, we didn't know if that was going to be in or not. And he's able to get a double right there. Runner moves to third. So quick start for the Apaches. Two runners are two runners already after two at bats. That's right. Now coming up to bat, number 25, Chris Garcia. Bounce off the wall. Wasn't sure if we are going to get a catch. Now number 25 up to bat. That one's hit into the outfield. He's going to be caught there. Runner tags up at third, and that's going to be the first run of the game. Wow. Arcadia is able to get the first run of the game. Only one out. Great start for Arcadia. You see the... Dugout getting hyped as Devon's able to come in to score. Already a run for Arcadia in the first inning. So he's setting off the mood right for Arcadia. That's for sure. Now number 13, Avery Truesdale. Runner on second. He's going to swing and miss at that one. Oh and one. Two. Another strike. Hey, oh and two. Oh, A single for the Apaches. Runners on the corners now. See right there, nice single. Goes between the shortstop and gets out into the outfield. Runners on the corners. Katie threatening already in the first. Already got one run on the board. Let's see what they're able to do. Number 44, Brandon Herrera is up to bat now. Playing right field today. Pickoff attempt, and they're going to get him. They're going to get a Avery Truesdale. So, Crescenta Valley is gifted with an out right there off the pickoff attempt. Took too big of a lead there, Ronan. Yeah. Still up to bat is number 44. A swing and a miss. Straight into the catcher. Seemed like Arcadia was going to have a runners on the corners with one out. And now, after that pickoff attempt, two outs. So, Crescenta Valley close to getting out of this inning. Here's the pitch. That one's going to be taken for a ball. Two balls. 
Two and one. That one's going to be taken for a strike. Late call right there. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Okay, trying to get the second run, and that one's going to be hit. Might be a foul ball, and that's going to get out foul. Close to, I close. think it went off the track. Very close. Two and two for number 44. Another foul. And stays two and two. Oh. And a nice hit into center field. Le left field, Ron. That one's going to get down. Man. That's going to score an RBI, and that's going to be a double by Brandon Herrera. Nice at bat right there. Stayed alive nice. a couple times and is able to get the double there. See, that's left field, Ronan gets that's out, right. dribbles to the wall, off the wall. Nice pick by the Crescenta Valley player, but they're able to score. Next up to bat will be number seven, Jerry Carlos. Just looking at the score sheet already in the first inning, Brent, we got RBIs for Brandon Herrera and Chris Garcia. That's going to be a bunt attempt by Jerry trying to run to first base. One and one. A little bit of a misclick by the guy controlling the music as just out of nowhere starts playing. You know, hey, maybe that's a good thing to hear. That's going to be hit. Might be a good. That's going to get caught by the right fielder. So it looked like it could have been good. That's going to end the inning, but Arcadia is able to get two on the board in the first. So good start today. Not too bad. Not too bad, Ronan. First baseball stream of the year, Aaron. How does it feel? You know, it feels good, and we didn't know if it was going to be a 
Yeah, who would, is going to take this one as both teams are pretty evenly matched and already 2-0 for Arcadia. Yeah, and I mean, I mean, we've been winning against CV for the past five or, or Four six years. or so games. Yeah. yeah. So we got to keep the streak up, huh? That pitch is going to be hit foul. That one's going to be high up. See, I really got to keep that streak up. It's four. It's three years worth of games. Four years over time because of you know 2020. 2020, yeah. Whole bunch of ordeals there. But see, let's see if Arcadia is able to keep that streak. That one's gonna be a nice swing and a miss. Number 25 is Jake Rito. Rendo. My bad. He's playing designated hitter today. Owen two for twenty five. That one's gonna be fouled off. Hits the catcher. He's gonna go get the ball and Still 0-2. Oh, like swing and a miss. Number 25 strikes out. Yeah, nice strikeout by Ian Hoffs there to start off the inning. Already second strikeout of the game. Number 8 up to bat. Number eight being Tyler Garland. He's right fielder for today. Quick 0-2 count. Here's the pitch. That one's going to be taken high for a ball. We got 2-2 two and two now. Two, ball two, strike two. Ian Hoffer is trying to get that second out of this inning. In the second inning. Yeah, I know. And Arcadia is leading by two. Let's see. That one's going to be fouled off into the net. Pitch is going to be taken for a ball. So three and two now, full count. First full count of the game. Will we see another strikeout? Will we see another or first walk? And that one's going to be hit to the third baseman. Very close line ball. That one's going to be caught by first base. Take that one in for the second out of the game. That one's close right there. But That ball, once it was hit, looked like it could have gone foul. Stays just barely fair. Third baseman's able to glove it and throw it to first. That one's going to be fouled off. Quick pitch them right there. 0-1 count.
catcher wants to talk it over with Ian. Taken as a ball. Took a while for the call. And it's going to be 1 1. Batting is number 18, Everett Fam, with a 2 and 1 count. Left field. Here's another pitch. That one's going to be hit quickly, just barely dodging it like Neo is Ian Hofstetter. Saw something flash between his eyes, and that one's going to be in for a single in center field. Let's see right here. That one just get out of the way. That ball is going fast into center field. That's going to be a scary one if you're the pitcher. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be hit by that. Yeah, I don't think anyone would. So number four is now coming up to bat. Number four being Brandon Kwan. He's the catcher for today's game. That's going to be a ball. Ronan, I mentioned uh, Neo from The Matrix when you did. Ian dodged that ball. But, you know, I never watched that movie. Is it any good? You've probably watched, you, uh, you've watched almost every movie under the sun. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. That one's going to be hit. That's going to be a pretty good hit right there into center field. Right. Runners making the turn to go to third. He's going to get there safe. Runners in the corners now, two outs. Arcadia's had the same uh, opportunity, and they were able to capitalize with one run. Let's see what Crescent Valley is going to be able to do here. That one said it was pretty good. That's a pretty good hit for Crescent Valley. So Brandon Kwan is able to add another single to his season. So we got runners on the corners, first and third. Now it's the ninth man in the lineup. Jimmy Spears, number 11. He's playing center field. We'll see if he has any action over there. Arcadia has been hitting all the balls to left field. So we'll see what happens to the center, to center field later in the game. Jimmy Spears, that's a, that's a name, Ronan. It is a name. Is there anything in particular about it? No, it's just, it's just it's a fun thing to say. Jimmy Spears. Here's the pitch. That one's going to be hit by Jimmy Spears off the pitcher. And look at Jimmy Spears he is going. Him not to go. Oh. Not going to be able to get the out right there. Not Center quite Valley. for Jimmy Spears. Not Jimmy quite. Spears is able to spear Ian and what it looked like the leg. That's going to be the first run for Crescent Valley. Let's see closer image here. Gets right off the thigh on Ian. He's telling first base to just don't run at it, and he did. Not able to get the out there. See, Jimmy has a good amount of speed. Jimmy Spears on first base now. Jimmy Spears with the speed. Runners Number on first seven and at second. bat. Score is 2 1, Arcadia. Yeah, number seven, Jacob Dino, opened up the game with a first pitch single. So let's see what he is able to do here in the second. The Winter Valley's had some good offense here in the second, so we'll see if they're able to add on. Own one count for number seven.
Owen two. an 0-2 count for a while. Let's see if Ian's able to get out of this one. Swing and a miss, fouled back. That's going to be the final pitch of the at bat as Jacob Dino goes down on strikes. Swing and a miss there. That's right. See, swing and a miss right there. Pitch just outside of the zone. So, in recap for the second, or top of the second. Crescenta Valley had a couple of nice hits right there in a row. That's they were right. able to get string three in a row, able to bring it, uh, bring a run over after a nice, nice hit by Jimmy Spears. Jimmy Spears, you know, it reminds me of that Drake song. What Drake song, Ronan? You know the one Jimmy Cooks. Never heard of that one. I'm lying. I have heard of that one, Ronan. Well, you think Jimmy's cooking today? He's already got a single. Let's see what he does later in the game. So Arcadia is going to come up to bat now after that strikeout, but we're going to restart the game, or restart the stream for a quick minute. I don't think we should restart the game. Arcadia's I don't think leading, we can. But we're going to restart the stream, and we'll come back to you soon. That's right. Stay tuned. Actually, everything is fine. You know. We we decided, you know, we, let's just keep this one going. Let's just roll with it. Yeah, number 15 now up the bat for Arcadia. It's first time around. That's going to be uh, Ben Cooper. He hits one. Going to be a nice snag by the third baseman. Oh. Throws around the diamond. That's a great play right there. I'm trying to think of how far is that? What's the diagonal of a uh, of a square with the sides are 90? Can you do a quick math? You're, you're the one in what? calculus BC. What, are you, right what there. are you asking me? If you have a, a square, like the diamond that we play baseball on, mm -hmm. each side is 90, or 90, let's say 90 feet, because that's what it is. What is the diagonal, like the length that you just threw that ball? You know the quick ratio? My mind is blank right now. Isn't it like... 90 times the square root of two. So that one's going to be a strike. Math, not my strong point. I thought maybe you could do that one. Well, I'm you know I'm just here to enjoy the game. Yeah, you don't want, you don't want to think about math right now. No, I it. just had a test, to be honest. That one is going to be hit, and that's going to be a foul, or that's going to be caught by the second baseman and thrown a first. Lost of my words, math makes me. What is my track of thought? I get it, I get it. Number nine, next up to bat for the Apaches. Oh. 
Number nine, Maverick Silva. That one's going to be hit into center field. That one's going to be down. Nice single right there by Maverick. That's another movie, Ronan. Top Gun Maverick. That one was a pretty good one. It was, actually. Some might even say better than the original. I would agree. See right there, that was a good single into the outfield. Runner on first for Arcadia. So now number 11, Devon Eskridge, comes up again. Had a single in the first, goes for a bunt there, trying to move the run. That one's going to be a nice bunt. There's going to be no throw attempt, so bunt is able to get him on base in this third. Very nice. Very nice indeed, Ronan. Next up to bat, number eight, Fernando Palencia. Trying to get something here. That one's going to be fouled close to the dugout. Everybody leaps out of the way. Watching this uh, pitcher for Presenta Valley, he's got an interesting windup as he gets into the stretch. Looks like he's going to skirt his hand around on the dirt but <laughs> able to pick it up not there Did not do it. that one's going to be hit that's going to be a fair ball yeah. and let's see that's going to bring around one runner's going to stay that? at third so rbi for fernando palencia rbi double and that's another run for arcadia score is now three to one Look at that. <laughs> so 25, Chris Garcia up to bat. Had a uh, RBI pop up into center field. Trying to get a, another RBI here with runners on second and third. That one's going to be taken again for a strike. One on one. That one's hit. That's going to be another RBI. Two, it's going to be close. That's going to be two runs scored right there. So Chris Garcia comes in clutch, able to get the single right there, bring around two. See again, right up the diamond, goes into center field. We were talking about it when the center fielder for Center Valley came up to bat. We might see some action there, and we've seen it in this inning. Thank <laughs> you. 
Katie is leading this one already in the second, five to one. Lots of offense here. One one count. One and two. Another swing and a miss. Strikeout for number 13. Number 13 was Avery Truesdale. He was the one that was picked off last inning, but here he's not going to get on base with that K. So that's the end of the inning. Arcadia is up 5 to 1 already in this second, all right, going into the third. That's right. <laughs> Avery not able to make contact. It's been a good one. You see, we've been getting a couple interesting shots from that. Those cameras in the dugouts, those are really nice. That's right. Really gets an uh, intimate look at the players and mm -hmm. how they're... You see know. right there, people just tossing each other around. No, it's been a... We, we didn't mention this in the intro, which we should have. You know, Rona, we got to work on that one. <laughs> but uh, what? we got to really thank all of our crew that works here That's with right. Apache News. Getting these streams here... So we can view these uh, great games. See in the See, top we, right corner. That is Josiah. Josiah is a great guy doing that camera right there. <laughs> also, not just cameramen, but uh, the people who work in it with our uh, studio booth. Not studio booth, but we have our TV little tent. Little tent, which brings us all these great streams. We'll see how this one goes on. Already 5 1. Number 10 coming up for Santa Valley. Last inning, or in the first, he struck out trying to set uh, or do better than that third inning here. That one's going to be fouled off. Looked like a painful foul as it might have came back and hit him. Pretty nice uh, jersey matchup here, Ronan. Nice blue from the Falcons. Arcadia's jerseys with the pinstripes. That's right. What What's your favorite color here? You know, I think uh, black or purple is a pretty good one. I know you like the color blue. I do like blue. That one's going to be a pop-up into right field. So one out. So Ryan Avony. Number 10 is 0-2 in this game. And now coming up, Nico Terenz. He had a pop-up in the, in the first, so trying to also get something different here. That one's a swing and a miss right there. Come on, two strikes. Come on, 
One and two is the count. That one's going to be taken for strikes. Nice strikeout right there. Nice strikeout. We saw a nice little, uh, not dance, but nice celebration by the umpire. Little jig. Little jig. Let's see. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch it here. It makes that weird punching, and then uh, catcher <laughs> throws it around the diamond. Here's try and get another one. Number 41 is a foul. <laughs> Number 31 suffered a one or a hit it to the hit it to the pitcher. He was able to make the throw to first for the out. a nice hit going to center field it's going to be Caught. get into the netting that's going to be a one two three third for Ian Hofstetter So Rona, it's been a pretty good start to this game already. Arcadia leading up four, or leading by four. What have you seen today? Yeah, I mean, some pretty incredible stuff. Some uh, great work from our Apaches. Um, great defense. I mean, they only let CV get one run so far coming into the third inning. So pretty good overall. You know, really, I think the star player so far has been Brandon Herrera. Who has, or not Brandon Herrera, my bad. He's up to bat right now. That's going to be there. It's going to be out right there. Nice throw. Uh, Chris Garcia, three RBIs already with a double and a uh, pop-up for an RBI. So really great performance yeah. by him. Definitely someone to look out for. Number seven at bat. Jerry Carlos. Again, number seven, Jerry Carlos at bat. He had a pop-up in the first inning.
So Ben Cooper had that 4-3 put out to get out last, or in the, the second. Trying to get something here. Katie up four, so already good. We are halfway through this, uh, halfway through this game, Ronan. That's right. That one once again going to the first baseman. Lots of action there. And that's going to be a quick out for Arcadia. So Arcadia is not going to be able to get any runners on there. Had a completely different se or second to the third. So right there, right to the first baseman, able to make the quick little jog to get the out. Aaron, this is the Foo Fighters. You like them, don't you? Yeah, they're playing Everlong right now. I think that's a pretty good song. Do you have any thoughts on the song Everlong by Foo Fighters? By the Foo Fighters? Eh, not really. I mean, it's a, I, I don't have anything against it, but I, it's not something I listen to all the time. Yeah, not not your genre of music, but... I but, guess not. You want to sing along for us? I don't know, but I don't think so. But let's hope that uh, the Arcadia is able to keep this lead. I was trying to I was trying to think of uh, saying everlong into that, but I don't know that where that word fits. Kind of a weird word. For sure. Number 25 at bat. Jake Rendo, who struck out in the second inning. but it's really the fourth inning. Quick one here. Ian's been making quick work of the Falcons. Oh, that one's going to be hit foul. Going to have to get someone to go and uh, retrieve that ball. Fouled off, caught in the dugout by the first baseman's coach. Nice catch. What? 
On right now, number eight, Tyler Garden. Garland, not Garden. That one's gonna be a barely hit. That one's gonna bounce into just barely the outfield. I use just barely in that sentence. Just barely. Just barely enough. Straight into the ground, though. Straight into the ground. Into That's the garden, the you could say. Garland is his actual last name. Oh, I yes. mispronounced that one. You see right here. Spiked it into the ground. Just kicks away. Running on first for CV. And second. One and O count. Number eighteen at bat. Yeah. Looking like a bunt attempt that was not successful. For number eighteen, Everett Fan. Runners try to make a move there, not going to be able to get the, or not able to get enough room to make the run to third and second. But so they might stay put. Runners on first and second. That one just trying to get that out of first. That ball's going to get away. Runner didn't realize Ooh. it first. That's going to be a free run right there for Kazinan Valley. Going to make it a two to five game as the ball got away on Ian's throw. Unlucky for Arcadia. Yeah, he is the pitcher, but just not able to make the throw right there. It happens, you know. It does happen, but, you know, you kind of wish it didn't. But mistakes do happen. They do. So score right now is five to two. Meeting on the mound after a rocky inning here for Ian Hofsetter. Fourth inning. No outs so far, so dangerous inning here. Tying run is at bat. Next at bat is number four, Brandon Kwan, who is the catcher for CV.
So number four off the bat had a single in the second. Right there, he's gonna take a strike. 0 and 1. So 0 and 2 right now on number four, Brandon Kwan. Here's the pitch. That one's going to be taken for a ball. So one and two now. One ball, two strikes. Number four at bat, doing a little wiggle. That one is going to be called safe at third. The third baseman hoped that that one was going to be called out. Still two and two. Two plus two equals four, so that's probably why the there's two inning. balls and two. It is the fourth inning. So if you add the scoreboard, two balls, two strikes, you get the fourth inning. And that's going to be a uh, foul ball just barely. That pitch is going to be grounded to shortstop. Needs to make the play here. Going to get that. That's going to be the first out of the inning. 3-5 now. Crescenta Valley is clawing into this one. They're catching up for sure. They already got two in this inning.
That one's going to be hit. That's going to be a tough run for right field. He's going to make the catch there. Runners tagging, and that's going to be get past. So four to five now is now the score. Presenta Valley now just one run behind. They're absolutely just crawling, like clawing their way up here. So four to five, Ian's gonna need a, or a, need to get into this one now. Number seven is up to bat. Number seven, that's the top of the lineup. Jacob Dino. That one's gonna be hit. That's gonna be, a tough throw for shortstop, not going to get the out there. So, infield single. Number 10 at bat, 0-0 oh no count. Number 10, Ryan Avanyi, who struck out in the first inning. See a safe call right there on the pickoff attempt. Getting interesting now in the fourth. That one's gonna be grounder to or a bouncer to second base gets the out at first. Arcadia finally gets out of that inning. It was a brutal one for them. They allowed three runs. So that's right. Zena Valley clawing in back in. Well, not clawing anymore. <laughs> they've they've I mean, five, catched four, up. Five four. Five four score. There. Yeah, I mean they might as well be tied. Honestly. You know, you gotta play as if you're tied right now, or if Crescenta Valley has the lead, just keep keep adding on. Interesting dancing skills right there. Uh, can you do that move, Ronan? Uh, not right now. But yes. You can do that move. Uh, well, I could. I imagine I could. If you try hard enough, you might be able to do that one. That's right. You know, I'm no, I'm no baseball superstar. But, but you got the moves. Of course.
So we're going into the bottom of the fourth, Ronan, and this game has completely changed the script. It was one to five, now it's four to five, so it's getting a little iffy now. That's right, I mean, uh, Arcadia definitely has to be, um, you know, prepared to take on CV. I mean, uh, you know, CV is really, you know, giving their all clearly. I mean, getting uh, three runs so quickly, um, it's just looking, things are looking close, definitely. And we're going to see here if Arcadia is going to add on right there. That one's going to be hit to second base. Quick throw. That's going to be already one out. That one's going to be a strike in for number five. Number five being a. Uh, oh, that one's going to be hit nice. That's going to be caught in the center field. Actually, it got down, really. You know, I, I don't think I was trying to find out because I, I got that one wrong. That is not number five, or that was number nine. Number nine, number five. You know, they look the same. I was a little crazy. confused. But. One line separates those two numbers. The Maverick. It was Maverick Silva, and he's able to get the single right there. That's right. That one is going to be a pickoff, not going to get anything there. Right there, number 11 fouls it off between his legs. Devon Eskridge first up in the lineup. Arcady with a runner on first, one out. One ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes. Wing and a miss right there, and that's going to get uh, Devin Eskridge out of this one. That one's going to be low and away. It's going to be one ball, and Catch is going to go talk it in and talk about it with his pitcher. Swing and a miss for number eight.
That one is going to be low for a ball. Three and one now, trying to get a walk here. Already got a runner on first, but two outs though. That's going to be a walk right there. Runner's going to move to second, and there's going to be a new runner on first. Number eight, Fernando Valencia is able to get the walk right there. You know, Ronan, right now they're playing your favorite, Travis Scott. My favorite? Isn't it your favorite? You keep, you keep mentioning it's Lions as we're going to have when? a... A little bit of a I know meeting on the mound here. He's doing a, a break. Travis Scott's doing a, a giveaway right now. Giveaway around it. I don't know. For what shoes. You, about. you shoes. were telling me about this. Oh yeah. No, we got some people on APN. Lucas, uh, that that makes shoes. So. Who is that? The Cheng Ming son. Yes, he's here today. Is he? Stream. Well, I think he's no longer here. I think he went home. We still got a lot of people here. It's great, great, uh, great, great crowd. Great crowd here for both sides. See, Crescent Valley has a lot of fans here. They always have a good amount of visiting fans whenever we play them. Definitely. Right there, that one's going to be a quick ball hit to third. That's going to be taken at third, and Crescent Valley is going to get out of this fourth. We're going to the fifth, and Arcadia is up by one run. Four to Looks like no dancing this time, Aaron. Such a disappointing half. You know, we, we got to see some dancing by Presenta Valley. They seem to have a disco going on in their, their <laughs> dugout, but no <laughs> dancing. Great energy all around. It has been great energy as both fans really into this game. And it's a good one, so why not be interested? Got two right. more. All right. Three more innings to go, Rona. Three more. Trace. is up to bat for for the Falcons Nico Terenz Nico Terenzi thank you for correcting me Rodin off the mic you're welcome Aaron thank you so one and one's the count Ian trying to get his first out of the inning.
Three and two count, full count. And that one's gonna be taken for a ball. So leadoff walk to start this inning by Nico Terenzi. I got it there. Number 31 is up to bat. Not his best night. Has a, not been able to get on base, but we'll see if he's able to do something here. Runner on first, one ball on him. <laughs> Called time late. Still going to be one and oh. Pretty nice hit into center field. Not going to get nice. down, though. Quick, nice contact on that one. Still not going to be his best night. So far, 0 and 4. His best night? Not going to be his best night. That's what I meant to say, Ronan. I think you, uh, I think I misheard, actually. Now, number 25 coming up. Jake Rendo trying to get something here. High pitch looked scary right there. I would not want to see that pitch come at me. Very scary here. You know, we're under the lights, Ron, and it's Tuesday night, getting late here. You see a lot of, when you look at the lights, you see a lot of bugs, you know, those moths. I don't know why That's they're right. so in love with the light. They always see the light and they go crazy. Blinded by the light. Because they're blinded. I'm going to stop now. Oh, go on. No. We heard that song when we were getting ready for the stream today. That's true. Lots of ones on that scoreboard right now. One ball, one strike. And that's going to be two balls now. Runner on first still not going to move. Two balls, one strike. Here's the pitch. That one's going to be a strike. Late. Late strike from the umpire. Two and two now. That one's going to be fouled back. Going to stay 2-2. Two -two. Strikeout right there. Nice pitch to get out of that at bat. Two outs now in this fifth inning. See that pitch once again. Quick two-seamer gets the call from the ump. Battered in like that one.
one and two count. Our 0 and one count, two outs. Looking at the scoreboard that is in directly in front of us, got a little confused. That's going to be a pickoff attempt. Not going to get anything there. Number eight at bat for CV. Tyler Garland. Not Tyler Garden, like I said earlier. Yes. Tyler Garl Gar Garden. Garl again. I, I, I can't speak right now. Garland, that's how you say it, Ronan. That's right. I don't know why it took me so long to say that word. two count I'm going to talk it over need to put away pitch right here to get out get Tyler Garl Garl Garland. Garl Garland I cannot pronounce that word Tyler Tyler I, I'm I Garland know. Garland Tyler Gar Garl <laughs> I think I should stop trying to say his name Tyler he's, he's trying to get Tyler out yes we go by a first name basis here at APN Here's sure. a strike. That one's going to be taken for a ball. One, ball, two strikes. one and two now. You got one ball. You got two strikes. Maybe you should get three outs right here with his next pitch. That one's going to be swinging and miss. He does get strike three right there. Strike three for Tyler Garner. I'm not going to try to say that name, Ronan. That's okay. But uh, Ian Hofstetter is able to get out of that fifth inning, keep the game uh, here at 4-5. to five. Arcadia is going to come out to bat. Look at that swing and a miss. That's a swing and a miss. So first up to bat will be Avery Tuesday, Truesdale, and then we'll, we'll go on from there. First pitch, that one's going to be high. Avery up to bat. Avery standing at 6-2. And, you know, we have 108 viewers on, uh, on our stream right now. That's good. Thank you all for tuning in to today's uh, baseball game. It's been a good one. You know, if you didn't catch it, you could go back and view it. But maybe just stay right here. We'll do a little recap after this inning. That's right. That one's going to be hit up, and that's going to go to the first baseman. So quick out for Avery again.
That one's another high hit ball. That one's going to be caught in center field. So Jerry is going to come up here to bat. Quick two outs for Arcadia here. Both have come to the hands of pop-ups. It's been a pretty good senior night so far for Arcadia. You know, we got a good amount of seniors on this team. That one's going to be out to the wall. That's going to stay a double. So Jerry Carla is able to come in clutch right there with that double. Puts a runner on second base. Let's see right here. That one hit nice. Weird, weird bounce. Looks like it got stuck in the ground for a second, allowing him to move to second base. Number 15 at bat for the Apaches. Ben Cooper is number 15. Not his best night so far. Look, trying here, look for a look for a good hit. Put out another run. Being out right there, so quick, quick inning right there. So Rona, we're moving into the sixth here. It's been a it's been a good game. Four to five it's stayed that way for a couple of innings. How, how, what have you seen? Yeah, definitely. I've seen some some great um, defense from the Apaches, keeping uh, CV from you know getting any more runs so far, and also some pretty nice hits. You know, so far looking, you know, it's close, but uh, the Apaches still making it out alive so far. Yeah, it's been close, and it's been a great atmosphere here. 
fans are great. This game's been really good, and we've had a pretty good stream here. Definitely, definitely. So we'll see how this game goes as we're going into the sixth here. We're going to have the seventh also. So we will see how Arcadia is able to want to see how they are going to finish out this game. Definitely. Should be pretty exciting. One and one count. C number 18 doing a little little wiggle right there. I don't know what that's for. That's gonna be a one and two now. Let's see you gotta trust the process, you know. You know, it might might be his little It's what he uh tries to get him into the mood. Let's see if he does the little wiggle. You see right there. Now he's staying still. Little camera shot. That's gonna be a swing and a miss. That's what I think you would call a sword pitch, is look a like he was pitch. trying to swing a sword and Lost handle of it. Third baseman went up to him, went off to Ian and was able to give him a high five. See right there, just swinging a miss. And that's one that you know you could have a celebration for. Now, number four is up to bat. Number four being Brandon Kwan. That one's going to get away from Ian. Shortstop's going to need to make the play. That's going to be a dart thrown by the shortstop. Great play right there. Playing shortstop for Arcadia today is Fernando Palencia. Absolute dart thrown to first base to get the out. count trying to get a quick inning this is going to be a it's going to be a ball two balls one strike that's going to be a high ball three and one now That one's going to be taken for a ball, so could not get the one, two, three. Walk for number 11. Seven's up to bat after that walk. Ian throws a pitch. That one's going to be hit to center field. Running in. Not going to get it there. Runner's going to try to go it there. Not going to move. CV has a runners at first and second base.
Number 10 up to bat now. That's going to be a strike. You could hear Ian from the mound. Sent out a little grunt, maybe put some extra energy into that pitch. That's going to be another strike, so 0 oh 2 now. Ryan up to bat for Crescenta Valley. Two strikes already. Ian trying to get out of this inning without allowing the tying run. Pitches in fouled off. Going to be another battle. Another pitch in this battle. Ian thinking or talking with the catcher for what pitch to throw. Going to take a step off. It's number 10. You know, communication is always very important in, in team sports like this. Yeah, you know, you don't want to have a cross up by with the catcher not knowing what pitch is coming. So, definitely, you know, that could, you know, cause, you know, some serious, uh, serious damage. Here's the pitch. That one's going to be fouled off. It's going to bounce off the ground. Foul's going to catch. Uh, fan is going to catch that. Going to have to give it back though. The pitch, that one, you can hear Ian again. And that's going to be the out. So Arcadia is going to get out of this sixth inning. Ian so has been great. Had that rocky inning, but it's bounced back.
17's coming up to bat for number 34. That one's going to be a bouncer off the home play. That's going to be an out. So first pitch swinging. That's going to be one out for Presenta Valley. It's been a quick six. You know, they've had, or Katie has had uh, two quick outs when uh, Presenta Valley was up to bat. Now Arcadia having one out one after one pitch. Oh, Let's look at that. Able to get another one here. Very close right there. It just barely couldn't make it. Number nine up to bat now. That one is gonna be called a ball. So two and one now. It's going to be another ball, so full count now, three and two. So Maverick is able to get the walk right here after this pitch. See just outside. So now Devin Eskridge is coming up. Runner on first, one out. Devin Eskridge here, going to take the first pitch for a strike. Runner was trying to move off first. Going to get, going to get back though. Another pickoff attempt, not going to get anything there. We're really trying to get Maverick out. That one is going to be hit on top of the dugout and going to get next to the bullpen. Bullpen. So Devin still in it. Two and two, another pickoff attempt. There's been more pickoff attempts than strikes and balls in this inning are in this at bat. And 
This one's going to be hit far. It's going to be caught. It's going to be caught by the left fielder. So left field is going to make the catch. That's going to be two outs. So Fernando Palencia comes in now. He made that nice play but at shortstop last inning. Little break here as there's a meeting on the mound. Mendo trying to get something here. Keep this inning alive for the Apaches as they're going to need some... Uh, they're going to need some uh, help. Not help, but uh, insurance. That's the word I'm looking for. Insurance. insurance as they go into the seventh inning. You know, you can't just rely on a, on a great pitching by Ian. you got to also contribute some runs. Definitely. They've got five, but, you know... You know CV has four. Ever since then, they haven't been able to get anything. That one's going to go foul. So, one and two now. Pitch is going to be a ball. So two and one. My correction, that was the first strike that last pitch. Got two, two, and two on the scoreboard. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. That's right. He's, start, he's starting to yawn, Ronan. Sounded it is like getting kind of late. That one's going to be fouled off. It's going to stay 2-2. Two, two. Fouled off again. Fernando is staying into this game. Or staying into this at bat. It's been a long one. Thought that one was going to be a uh, strike, but it's called a ball, so full count now on Fernando. You could, hear, you could hear Coach Lemus, he's telling uh, Devin Eskridge that if the ball is hit, 
just run all the way because two outs, you know, get a little, not careless. You can, uh, you have more range in where you can go. Still three and two. This at bat has gone on for an eon. Not quite, but I know what you mean. Uh. Yeah, it feels like it though, Ronan. Another pickoff. Guy was not there. They're going to call a balk right there. Ronan's going to move to second. Balk called on the pitcher. First balk of the game. First balk I think I've ever seen in high school sports. Mm. Well, there's got to be a first for everything, huh? Mm -hmm. Still going to be 3-2, though. Now it's going to be a walk. The at-bat is finally over. And Fernando is able to win that bat, taking a walk on balls. Nice little bat swing and throws it away. Be hit. That's going to be a foul. 0 and 1. Chris Garcia is up to bat. He leads the team in RBIs with three today. So it's been a great night for him. Here's the pitch, that one's gonna be fouled back. So 0-2 now. Presenta Valley just trying to get out of this inning without allowing a run. Trying to keep that score at four to five. Number 25, Chris Garcia at bat. That one's going to be popped up. This one might do it. First mm. baseman catches it with his glove. That's going to be the end. He is going to come up with an uh, important seventh inning. Up one. Look at that, it just went straight up. It went straight up, Ronan, into the glove. That's right.
Well, Aaron, the score is still 5-4 Arcadia, and we're coming into the seventh inning with a new pitcher. So how are things looking? Yeah, Fernando Palencia is going to take the mound for Arcadia, trying to get this close out here. Four to five game right now. It's been a great one, and we'll see how good this inning is or ending is going to be for Arca Arcadia. Definitely. Uh, should be pretty exciting. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's it's still it's been pretty close these past few uh, innings, and now you know there's not much not much time left. Um, so. We'll see how they do, I guess. Yeah, not a lot of offense has happened after that, what was it, fourth inning? Got to yeah. check my scorecard in a little bit. But in the fourth inning, we had a lot of traffic for Arcadia, or for Crescent Valley, as they were able to score three and make this game a quite interesting one, as it's right now 5-4. to four. Going into the top of the seventh, Arcadia trying to close this one out. Definitely. Nico Terenzi in the box for Crescent Valley. First pitch is going to be a strike. 0 and 1. That ball is going to be high. One and one count. Fernando looking for a good pitch here. That one's fouled back. You know, it's quite impressive. Fernando is going up there to, to pitch, and he was just in that long, long at bat. Got to walk. Interesting to see that he's now out there on the mound. Yeah. One and two, trying to get the first out of this inning. Here's the pitch. That one's going to be high. See right there. That one's going to be high in the box. Wow, if he didn't duck, he might have taken one to the helmet. Yeah, he did dodge that one, practically. going to be a swing and a miss right there. First strikeout of this inning by Fernando Palencia and as the first out of this inning. Two more outs for Arcadia. Fernando Palencia doing great on the mound so far. That one's going to be foul. 0 and 1 now. You know, if you get all of the out, outs with the strikeouts, you only need five pitches to get out of this inning. So, a little bit hopeful, but you can dream, right? Can we all? This one's going to be thrown. That's going to be a ball. So, 1 and 1 now. That one's going to get into the outfield. That's going to be the first run, uh, runner of this inning for our, uh, for Santa Valley. Stumbling on my words at the worst possible time. Get a ball here. 
So Crescenta Valley threatening here. Runner on first, number 25 coming up the bat. See here right, that one is hit into center field, splits the infielders. Fernando throwing the pitch, that one's gonna be a strike. That one looked like it could have topped out at 101. 0-1 oh, now. Another quick one, that might be a good attempt. Gonna get that out right there. Guns down the runner at second base. So Fernando's incredible heat that he throws and plus with the great arm of the catcher, able to get the out right there. Definitely looking like it was a good switch, a good decision to put uh, number eight, Palencia, up there on the mound. Right there, right, tag right on the Ooh. face. Not the best tag, but, you know, you'll take it. We'll take what we can get. So, Crescenta Valley down to their last out. This has been a great game, Ronan. Definitely, yeah. You know, it's not going to be the last game that we're going to see of Crescent Valley here on Apache News. That's true. We've got um, another game on Friday, which is going to be an away game at Crescent Valley. That's right. Should be should be an exciting uh, rematch after this one. Yeah, it will be one. We'll see if Arcadia might be heading in as the leader of the series, oh, and, or one and zero. Oh, but don't want to jinx it yet. Definitely. One and one count now. This pitch is going to be taken for a ball. Two and one now. One's going to be, so you're going to say that's a hit by pitch. So the uh, Coach Lemus is furious about that call. Nothing you can do about that. Let's see if that is a hit by pitch. Going really slow here. I don't that, know about that. I don't know. It, you know, it looked more like a foul to me, but yeah, who foul. am I to say? Or maybe just a normal ball, but calls it a hit by pitch. Coach is trying to go talk about an explanation about that one. So that brings up number eight for Crescenta Valley. He's going to be an important one here. If he is the winning, or not the winning run, but go ahead run at home. So let's say worst case scenario is able to smack one over the fences. Crescenta Valley will lead. Well, that's, we got that's faith right. in Fernando here. He's been doing great so far, so. I don't know about that questionable, questionable hit by pitch call, but we'll see if he works around it here. Foul back, one on one. He's throwing some fire on, and those pitches are coming in fast at the batters. For sure. You blink and you miss it. You make it look easy with the replay, but God, you know, it goes in quick. real, you know, real time. It's intense, to say the least. That's going to be strike two. Going to get everybody amped up here. Might be the final pitch of the game. Possibly, possibly. Right there. Takes it right down the middle. One out, or one ball, two strikes, two outs in this top of the seventh. Fernando Palencia up to bat. 
Up to bat. Up, up to. <laughs> it's number eight pitching pitch. and number eight at the bat. It's a battle of the eights. <laughs> That's right. The Ocho. The Ocho Los battle. Los Ochos. Los Ochos. Not Los Osos. Not the Bears. Yes. One and two still. Checks over at first. Here comes the pitch. That one's going to be grounded to second base. It's going to be a quick play. Not going to be able to make the grab. There Couldn't is the second baseman. Scoop it up. So Maverick not able to make the snag there to get the out. It was a tough play as the runner was coming in. Didn't want to run into the runner. It was close, but. That's going to make it a dangerous one. That's runner is, a go ahead run is at first base. I'm going to talk it over at home. Meeting at the mound at for the, the mound. Apaches. Now it's eight verse eighteen. Eighteen being Everett Fam. Presenta Valley has the go ahead run on first base. Here comes the first pitch from Fernando. That one's going to be hit. Goes to the shortstop. Bad bounce right there. What a crazy bounce. I don't know if it looked like it hit the runner or if it hit the glove and bounced off. Bad case of events right here for Arcadia. Definitely. Just having a nightmare here. Let's see this replay. So here comes the pitch. Ball grounded. Ooh. Just a bad jump when he tried to catch it with the glove. And by milliseconds, the, the second baseman is able, or the, the second runner is able to get to second. So runners, bases loaded now. Things are not looking good for Apa the Apaches right now. Number four is coming in, Brandon Quan. He's had previous hits in this game. Second, he had a single. Arcadia needs to get him out here without allowing right. this tying run to come in. Nice swing and a miss right there. One hit and it could tie the game. Could even take the lead. You got the runner in scoring position. That's true, position. that's true. The bases are loaded, so. Two out, so you most likely run. That's going to be a ball. One and one now. It's like the energy was taken out of the Arcadia fans and given to the Presenta Valley fans on the other side of the field. Yeah. Here's the pitch. That one's going to be hit up. It's going to be a foul ball. Going to make it one and two now. Presenta Valley down to their last pitch, our last strike again. But Fernando needs to put this one away here. Here's the pitch here. That one's going to be taken for strike three. That's the ball game. 
Arcadia is able to take the win against Crescenta That's Valley. Right. So after that crazy ninth, our seventh inning, Arcadia is able to take the win right here with this beautiful strike Look beam three right down the middle. Absolute heater from from uh, Fernando. And with that, you know, Arcadia wins 5-4. It was close, but... 5-4. Now Arcadia is number one in the Pacific League standings. That's right. Making Friday's game against Crescenta Valley at Crescenta Valley incredibly important. That's right. Because they need to win that game in order to keep their lead. You hear them playing I Love L.A.? Oh, I think we all love commonly L.A. right played now. by the Dodgers when they win a game. You see, this game had big league energy. Both sides really into it, and Arcadia able to come away with the win on senior night to make Definitely. it even better. A night to be remembered, for a sure. A night to be remembered. Senior parents, senior parents, please meet over by the balloon arch. Senior parents, please meet over by the balloon arch. Down the left field line. by the announcer's booth pick up the basket. So after the game, it was been five to four. We're here, we're here with Fernando Palencia and Ian Hofstedt. And how was your pitching today? No, uh, they scored four. It was a pretty damn tough battle. 
But uh, I guess thanks to this guy, we uh, we stayed in it and won. Ronnie, you want to ask a question for uh, uh, so Fernando? <laughs> Fernando, um, you switched to pitcher in the last inning. Uh, you know, how, how was that? that? Uh, you know, I knew it was going to happen, so it was something you got to prepare for. But, uh, yeah, like Ian said, we both did good. We both uh, got the dub. It's the main goal. Uh, with this win, you are now ahead, just just inches ahead of Crescent Valley. So how important is that Friday game going to be at Crescent Valley? Important. It was uh, go home literally, and tomorrow so go home again. We take it. You know, that's what, we, what we've been working on all year. You know, if we lose, uh, woohoo, I guess. Fernando, you want to say anything? I mean, we hit it. We hit it. It's a uh, win or go home. It's something. We... It's... Also, finally, it was senior night. How did how did that feel on senior night? Pitch the final game, final home game of this year. It, uh, you know, it felt pretty good. There was there was a lot of people here. It was pretty crazy to see, but uh, you know. We got a battle Friday. It's uh, we got to take it all. Thank you guys. So after that, it's been a, it's been a great game here today. Arcadia is able to take the win, four to five. That's just a quick recap. We have a game Friday again, same Crescent Valley Arcadia at Crescent Valley. So make sure to tune in for that one. This has been Aaron Serrano and Ronan Leader. Thank you all to you know made this whole thing possible or the stream possible for those of you tuning in at home. Thank you. Good night.